Today we're looking at Aura and trying to guess the rank of their Kiriko slash Ana. They made this request directly on my Google form, where they wrote, I duoed with the other support. In some games where we lose, we can't seem to figure out what went wrong and what we could have done better. I myself also want to improve utility usage, alt usage, when to hold alt and when to use it, on Kiriko and Ana, as well as positioning. So I like to hear that you guys are queuing support together because I think one thing that supports who solo queue will struggle with is a lack of synchronization. So hopefully you guys are communicating and game planning. Like from my own experience, I remember back when I was on a team after scrims, me and the other support would queue comp together and we work really well because we would game plan. Hey, I'm going to play behind the tank. You work with the DPS. Uh, we play supports that synchronize with each other. Like he'd often play Brig and protect Mayana. It worked really well. And we had an insane win rate because we were just really good about game planning and communication. So I hope that you guys are as well, but I guess we'll find out. First thing we always want to do is take a look at our team comp. So we got Zarya, Soldier Tracer, Iari Ana. Yeah, very solid comp. I think Iari and Ana work pretty well together. I would say that because Iari has the pylon, close range healing, and mobility with the outburst, she's probably better equipped to, to play close behind Zarya. I'd like to see you play back, you know, off angles, maybe with Soldier. But honestly, you could switch that up if you want. The important thing, though, as I said, is that you two game plan and communicate with each other. I'd like to see you go up the stairs with your team. Like, see, you can only kind of see people as they come out. Granted, you do land a nice nade that kills the Echo, but I just feel like if you were, like, pushing up, see where your Iari and your Soldier are playing, it's a little bit more risky with the Junk Spam, but, you know, you can duck it. You got the Healing Pylon to help keep you up, and you just be able to get a lot more damage out, maybe a deeper, more impactful nade, too. Like, see how, like, your Zarya has this area locked down? Granted, your soldier dies, but he it looks like he got burst down really fast, so I don't blame you, but you could be, if you were pushed up, you could be just supporting Zarya, getting some more damage and pressure in as, you know, she locks down this doorway. It's good to play, like, back and play safe. Because, you know, you're going to you're going to keep yourself safe. You're probably going to have low deaths, but it can often reduce your impactfulness on the game. And if you feel ever feel like games are often out of your control, this might have something to do with it. You have to put yourself in a tiny bit of danger to make plays sometimes. That's why uh, that's why I always go over the three things you should think about when it comes to support positioning. Can I see my team? Can I get vision of the enemy team? And do I have cover that I can quickly duck behind? Because if you find a position that checks all three of those boxes, you're going to, chances are, you will be very impactful while also keeping yourself safe. Like, see, your Zarya is pushing through that doorway. We could think about pushing up, you know, opening up where we can get deeper vision. Even like playing up here, you know, throwing a nice nade deep. Things you could think about. See, this is better. See how you can actually go for more damage now? Like you can see the junk spam coming, so it's not too much of a threat. But yeah, also see, you're, they're pushing up. Your Zarya is going for a grab. You can't even see the enemies in it. Like if you were pushed up, even like I prefer to play up here as Ana, but uh, you could just be more impactful. Or even like, you know, as you see your teams pushing up, you know, you're playing over here, you back up and then you see your Zarya going for the alt. You could even think about moving up a little bit, but you just want to be careful and watch that. Uh, oops, watch that right side area as well. It's good otherwise. You take some damage from the Kiriko, but you LOS it. 
You could have nanoed Iari there, honestly, because, um, you know, she has her ult, so you would have kept her alive, and then she could have just flown up, and, you know, our Yari does so much damage as is. Nano Iari, especially with the captive sun, is really scary. I definitely, I would nano Zarya here 100%, though. Oh, Zarya's going to yeah, now they're pushing into you. We needed to we needed to put a little bit more pressure on them, so let's back up a little bit. I already talked about the you know the ERE, so we won't go over that again. But even if you miss that ult, see your Zarya is crit, and uh, let's check. She's a hundred charge right now. You know how much DPS Nano Zarya does. I don't know the the exact number off the top of my head, but I think it's in the 250 range. Like, Nano Zarya at 100 charge could 1v5 and potentially win. Like, I 100% would have done that because, like, even so, she's still getting kills even without your Nano. But, uh, you know, Zarya and Kiriko proceeded to push into you as we saw, like, if Nano Zarya was pushing into her team, she might not be able to, to go after you. She might have to turn around, address it, you know, like bubble the soldier or something so, so Zarya can't kill him. Uh, I just feel like getting the Nano out definitely could have uh, helped us win this fight. Like, there's a good chance that they might not have pushed into you if Zarya was more imposing. And honestly, even if you did die... Like I said, Nano Zarya at 100 charge can solo carry. So there's a good chance that she could have won that without you. Like she's still getting kills even without your Nano, even at low HP. Maybe we win the fight or nah, she dies. Yeah, you definitely want to get that Nano out. Maybe you were you were unsure about whether or not the fight was winnable. Uh, but honestly, when you're in doubt, I would just use your nano over holding it. It's better to to waste it, use it too often, and then, you know, reassess it after the fact than hold on to a nano and not use it enough. You should use it a little early as you guys push in, though. Like, wait for your Zari to build a little bit of charge and then nano her in. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, nano her. Okay, there we go. Yeah, play behind the cover. Honestly, but though, like, I know this is Guess My Rank. I haven't been talking about that yet. Um, your gameplay seems very solid, apart from, you know, slight positioning issues and then holding on that nano. Like, you seem very good with nades. You seem very good with your accuracy. Uh, I definitely think this is like a, a plat, maybe even diamond. Yeah, like that right there. You're not scared of the Torb. You stay calm. You shoot nade. Like, that was very well played. Yeah, there's no way you're below flat. Yeah, you gotta keep Zarya up. Yeah. Yari's staying safe, but you can turn to her too. Nice. You can go for a little more damage once Arya uh, isn't crit anymore. But this is good otherwise. Yeah, very good. You're not really holding on to your abilities. You're not really, like, that was perfect. You know, you get the nano. You don't hold on to it. You just, you know, th this fight is still active. You just pop it out as soon as possible and look at that. Very well played by you. Yeah, you have a very impressive Ana. I just would like to see you, you know, push up with your team a little bit more, and I feel like you would be even more effective. Fire will. 
Like here, I would push up. You want to get vision of your Zarya. Although she's making a very weird rotation. Yeah, I, I don't know what that was like. Yeah, you're, Yari's dead and Aerith was Zarya. Yeah, she dies to the, the Bastion over here. I don't know why she made that rotation way around. That was a huge misplay by her, but uh, you're doing pretty good this game, I feel like. Yeah, this is over. All your Zarya had to do was just back up and not in to make that weird rotation, and this round was very winnable. I am so sorry about that. Can't control what our team does. Hello? Be a little careful, we got some poke in. You guys kill the Bastion, which is good. Maybe being a little passive, just healing. I want to see you go for a little more damage. Not now, because your Zarya needs healing, but once she's not crit anymore, just look for someone. Yeah, once again, a little passive. I'd like to see you. I think you could have pushed up a little more, especially early in the fight before your team started taking a lot of pressure, but nice job nonetheless. Nice. Yeah, rotate around to get vision. Perfect. Try to get a nade deep there. You could. You just nano Zarya. Now, perfect. I think that you realized you held on to that burst nano too long because now you're just popping it out as soon as you get it in the mid fight, which that's what you should be doing. Yeah, no, I honestly, I think you're diamond. Maybe this is like a low diamond lobby in your tank's plat or something, but... Yeah, very solid play. I think I hear a Widow. Ooh. Yeah, so we, we heard that audio a little bit, I think. Let me just back up a tiny bit. I just want to... Yeah, I hear that, that shot right there. Yep. So we hear that audio for, for Widow shots. Now we got to be on our toes. We just... We need to make sure we know where Widow is, especially before like hard scoping in an area. Like maybe you weren't expecting her to, to poke out here. I understand, but uh, but yeah, just just try to pay attention to to where she is. If if you don't know where she is at the moment, uh, just be looking around. Don't do anything more than quick scope, and just just be constantly looking for her. She pops out, you're just... Yeah. You guys are regrouping. Yeah, just be... Mm. Yeah, that's twice now, so you gotta be a little careful. Maybe, you know... Maybe like in plaid or gold, you weren't really used to widows having good aim and you thought you could bully them, scope on them. I did the same thing, but uh, yeah. Once you get to like diamond higher ranks, widows will delete you. Just make sure you know where she is and make sure she is not looking in your lane before you hard scope. You know, if you see her, if you see she's looking somewhere else, then you could scope in, start to pressure her. But just be on the lookout for her to turn to you and then be ready to duck the moment she does. Okay, you're going carry go. I think this is a good switch. 
Yeah, be careful. You can uh, spam crouch. Nice shots. Beautiful. Yeah, you're diamond. Very, very solid aim. Very good, like, lining up the headshots. So far, at least, we'll see. Ooh, this is a little risky, though. You are taking a little off angle. That's nice. Okay, you guys are rolling. It's just me personally, you know, I feel like it's very risky to use Swift Step to, to move into enemies and engage like that because, you know, it leaves you temporary vul temporarily vulnerable. But, you know, it's it's working out for you guys here. Like, you're flanking, you're going for off angles. I don't think that necessarily was a flank, but... But yeah, very well played. Score. It's just, you know, hard scoping on the, the Widow is Ana will get you killed. Um, just hard scoping in general when you don't know where the Widow is. Um, yeah, you want to be really careful about that. Always be on your toes, be spam crouching. Uh, you got to try to catch a Widow at an angle where she's not looking at you. Um, if you really want to like contest her and, and pressure her. But, you know, switching to Kiriko was a very smart play as well. And as we can see, it worked out very well for you. Okay, you're going for a little flank. You're right on point. So... I think that was actually a very solid play. I really like how you're, you know, you're trying to give the team another place to look at. This is exactly what you should do as Kiriko. But what I think you need to do is uh, I just think the target focus, like, you know, I get getting Bastion to look away from the team while he's uh, using his shift. Not necessarily bad. I would have just, you know, maybe you could have thought about going after like the BAP or something, trying to like, you know, angle off to, to where you can see him. But it, not a big deal. I like how you're I like how you're going for this, though. Very smart. And, yeah, shows that you have a solid understanding of how to of the fundamentals of carry go. Because as soon as you get pressured, you swift step back to your team. Nice shot, but your Zarya kind of died. I get it. You know, you wanted to make sure the soldier, uh, you wanted to make sure the soldier didn't uh, attack you, but yeah, your Zarya should not be like pushing out here, especially like when the Bastion can just shift and delete her. Like you, you gotta, the, the key to playing around Bastion is, you know, you gotta bait out his shift you know, LOS it, and then as soon as it expires, then you can push into him. So, yeah, I think your tank's having a little bit of a tough time this game. Like, we weren't looking at them, but even so, I'm not sure there's much we could have done. Okay, so let's talk about that. So, okay, I'll back up a little bit more. So you're full HP here. You take a lot of damage. Now you're 81. Now you got to think about, you know, you could potentially swift step to a teammate just to, just to get out of this lane. But at the very least, you need to duck behind cover. Yeah, like here is good. You're doing the right thing. You're stabilizing, except you push out a little bit too soon. Like you're still 102 HP. See, you're back down to 96. You know, I would have waited for the support passive to heal you up a little bit more. Get to maybe even like, I don't know, like 150, 160 before you poke back out. Because, you know, you just get burst back down again. Like, especially with like, you know, they have a Bastion, a Zarya. They have very high damage. You can't take risks like that. Especially like they already know you're hanging around down this lane. 
Nice shots. Look out for your soldier. Nice, good use of ducking behind cover and yeah, solid overall. Yeah, I feel like like given the mistakes you're making, I do think you're diamond. But like you clean some of that up, you're easily masters. That's my thoughts, at least. We'll see. Uh, We'll see what you end up saying for your rank. Think about getting the Kitsune out. Uh, yeah, we want to be careful here. But yeah, I'd go to your team and try to get the Kitsune. I was going to say I'd go to your team, try to get the Kitsune out, rush out with them, but yeah. Your Zarya is having a little bit of a tough time with, uh, with the Bastion. You're, the rest of your team pops off, though. Good play over here, though. But uh, honestly, when you have alt, I would really think about just playing a little bit closer to your team, though. You know, just so you can pop it out for them and they can all capitalize on it. Although you're swift stepping to them, so... Yeah, I would really think about, you know, getting an alt out to stop their push as they commit. Let the Kitsune guide you. you might... Uh, so, yeah, I would wait until after the Bastion alt. It looks like... I think you did it in response, if I'm not mistaken. Let me back up a little bit more. I just want to make absolute sure. Let the Kitsune Guide you. Yeah, he pops it first, then you use your Kitsune Rush. Uh, you just, I would have waited that out just because, you know, Bastion will purposely, uh, you know, fire where your ult is to zone you out of it. Those, like, zoning abilities like that, like Torbolt, are, are very good at, like, shutting down Kiriko. Be a little bit careful. Ooh. That's unfortunate. You did prioritize keeping yourself safe, but that was a yeah, that was a little tough. We want to look at our team a little bit more there, but infused with light. You are trying to make a play, you know? You're being a nuisance. You're being distracting. Ooh, that, I don't, that's a little risky, though, using Swift Step right into point. I would have kept playing over there or, like, you know, Swift Step to maybe one of your teammates who aren't directly on point. Because this is just very risky, you know? You're very vulnerable. Maybe you have to Suzu yourself to keep yourself up, and then you could still get burst down, potentially. It's overtime, though, so I understand you're trying to make a play. But yeah, I mean, I, I think that's a little tough. Granted, you know, we had Swift step back. We could have thought about, about using it. But yeah, we were kind of just in the middle of everybody. We pushed up into the Bastion. And yeah, it's just it's very risky doing that, especially as a squishy. Join me on the objective. Restoring balance. Still keep point, which is good. Play a little tighter to the wall just in case you got a duck. Oh, they're using the sim TV. Yeah, I mean... 
I don't even think that was so much of a mistake by you guys. So much is just very well played by them. You know, some of them took the Sim TP with the Bastion and then Zarya continued to push main, you know, giving you guys multiple areas you had to just watch a lot of damage coming from. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why Sim is so OP on this map. Yeah, that's the game. I think your your gameplay was very solid. I don't consider that a true loss for you. I feel like you guys should have won the first round, but your your tank kind of fed and through. Um, yeah, very solid with your Ana gameplay. Like we talked about how you held on to the, the Nano too long, the first one, but it seems like you learned your lesson in the game and you, you popped the next two Nanos out uh, really fast. So well played there. Uh, if they have a Widow, though, you just have to be careful about hard scoping her um, or at least scoping at all when you don't know where she is. Um, if she's looking down your lane, especially, you got to be ducking out. Wait until she's looking somewhere else. Take an angle on her, you know, where she's not looking directly at you to pressure her. Uh, things like that you got to do. With your Kiriko, uh, you seem very good with your aim. I really loved how, you, you, know, you know, you're trying to be distracting with the off angles uh you used swift step well for the most part except there were a couple times i feel like you know we went into people or like right in the middle of point and it is very risky and it's dangerous um i would just try to avoid doing that uh but yeah i'm gonna say just given the like you know, given the mistakes like your tank and stuff we're making, um, but you played pretty well. I'm going to say you're probably Diamond 4. That would be my final guess. But yeah, that's all I have. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. If anyone would like to request a VOD review, check the link in the description. And best of luck with your climb.